Hello guys, welcome to Ashley. Last on show, this is going to be the update for the, the four month old kitty and gluttony for as well. Um, uh, the four month old kitty is at a, a uh, York Humane Society shelter. And next week on Tuesday, gluttony is going to go there as well, give behavior test and find her a good home as well. Um, then we'll be back to having a re regular number of cats again. I've been uh, with well, this York Humane Society, I put a link down and will donate to their site. Um, it's very good, very clean, uh, very clean, uh, very small though. I can't believe it was actually a very small little organization. Uh, but it's one of the no kill shelters that, that is around our area. And um, I know that kitten is gonna, I know that we need to name her. My mom wants to keep her, she was crying and stuff. I was like, she gotta go, mom. We have five cats right now. We need to at least have four again. And uh, she's gonna go to a good home. Um, she's in heat, she needs to get her shots. She needs to make sure she's not pregnant and also get fixed as well. And not have this problem again. We've been getting a lot of drop off cats uh, throughout the, the months, uh, different ones um, throughout. Um, I don't know how many I've been counting so far. Glet needs to go to the, the shelter as well. I know she'll pass the behavior, uh, behavior ex uh, examination. She is very, um, what you call it, like submissive. Uh, she's basically calm and she'll walk away if it threatens her she'll hiss but she won't do anything at all problem with you know we had her for about a week or two from outside uh, because she was climbing up and gave me a third time of, of scare the first time was i believe um the first time we brought her in was the storm then she was go back out came back and a couple months later she came back with you know her leg came put her back and wrapped her up and basically let her heal for, for a few days at the house came back with a, up on the roof and said, nope you're coming back coming in we'll see finding your home you could try to find her home before but no one really wanted her and finally she got her we got our blood work done we got our, sh our rabies shots found out she has feline aids it's just an immune disorder for the cats so basically they, 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 they already know about her she has a feline aids stuff they still don't take her still and uh, basically it's an immune disorder and the hospital bill is going to be ex economical because she will get sick very easily and i'd rather have her with like i'd rather have her like just by herself with some old folks or a single single um family and she'll probably live a very good um rest of her remaining lives and everything else as well her appointment's on the 16th in the afternoon i'll take care of that and uh we will we'll keep you guys updated for it and everything else for it as well um, just basically just have to you know wait and see what she does next um, but yeah that's the update for us Just grab like and share you will donate to the to the organization I'll put a link down below for you guys thank you for watching have a great day guys bye